Hi guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, August 7th, 2012. This is Jennifer. Um, just a really quick reminder, I have a class on Friday. It's my unfinished paper piecing class at Honeybee Quilt Store in Austin, Texas. If you guys are interested in coming and just sewing with me, um, just bring your paper piecing. It's a very inexpensive class. Just call the store and they'll get you all hooked up. I will put that phone number in. I'll probably put it here, but I'll put it in the description too. So I've had a very busy week the last week. Um, a lot of my busyness has not been craft related. My um, kiddos are gearing up to go back to school. My my son's going to be a freshman and he's been going to marching practice and we've had a lot of things to do that had to do with getting him ready and just, you know, a lot of just general back to school kind of stuff. Um, I'm also still working on the Big Secret Project um, and I'm going to give you a little teaser on that which is very exciting. This is the fabric for the Big Secret Project which is in progress right now and you can see all my little tags at the end where I've written exactly what these fabrics are for. This is all timeless treasure. Um, this is their sketch. Let's see if you can see that. You can see the little awesome little cross hatching. This is the sketch line of fabric from Timeless Treasures. There you go. Now you can really see that. Um, so my enti this entire project will be done in Timeless Treasures sketch and I will tell you what it is in probably October. So I'm um, very excited about that. I've got another project that's going to be super fun, super super fun that will be announced in September in affiliation with the Quilting Gallery. If you guys um, don't follow the Quilting Gallery, uh, it's run by Michelle Foster. It's awesome. It's a fantastic resource for quilters. Um, I've done stuff for Michelle before and she's done stuff for me and it's just a, just a genius, genius site. It's amazing for quilters. Tons of free resources, lots of great experts. Just She's always got something going on, contests and quilt alongs and just you name it, she's got it going on. So make sure you ch check out the Quilting Gallery and um, that event will be announced in September, so um, we'll come back to that later when they're getting closer to an announcement. I want to let you guys know the Texas patterns are doing well. I have more designs coming up. The next pattern I think is going to be a cowboy boot. Um, I was debating between boots and a hat, and I think boots is winning right now. Hat will be on the list, but I think boots is winning right now. Um, I want to kind of stagger the difficulty of the pattern so that it's super simple and a little more complicated and super simple and a little more complicated because that way I feel like it'll mix it up more and make, you know, make it a little more exciting for everyone that's um, enjoying the Texas patterns. Armadillo has been very popular. Um, I'm glad you guys are enjoying him so much. Even though I'm not a big fan of armadillos, he was fun to make. I mean, he's cute. I, I have to admit, he's cute. So last week I posted another new pattern um, that has nothing to do with Texas whatsoever. Um, and everything to do with the fact that my daughter Elena was in France in July. Inspired by a photo of her and some of the other um, kids from the trip in front of the Eiffel Tower, I designed this for her. Um, the name of this pattern is in French and I'm not even going to try to say it because I would mangle it, but what it means is love under the Eiffel Tower. Um, Elena named it for me and wrote the French translation for me so that I would have it. Um, and it's very simple, super simple. This pattern is $4.50 on Craftsy, very inexpensive. It is 5 by 10 It would be great in a messenger bag. Um, I'm actually probably going to put this in a lunchbox format for my daughter. Um, if we don't do that, it'll be a tote bag. Um, the idea being, you know, behind all my patterns is a simple pattern that you can incorporate into something bigger if you want. So for now this pattern is only going to be available on Craftsy. Um, like I said, $4.50 on Craftsy. Um, I will put this under the video wherever I post it so you can get directly to it. There will be a link right there. And Texas patterns as well. Set 1 which is here and set 2 which is here. Those are also available on Craftsy. They will not be in my Sewhook shop on Sewhook.com until I have a bigger set. And so once, once I make a bigger um, set then I will put them on there. Um, I do, as you guys know, I do a lot of project patterns too, but my favorite patterns are individual patterns because I love to be able to just add that little something that you might be missing for whatever project it is that you want to be working on. So I had some great mail last week. Um, first of all, I uh, made a donation ages ago to an AIDS walk that Daz Muffin was doing and um, she had promised t-shirts to anyone that participated and I honestly I forgot. Um, anytime there's 
uh, fundraiser that one of my friends are doing for cancer, for AIDS, for any kind of awareness or anything that's medical that is helping someone, it is almost impossible for me to resist helping. So, um, I, like I said, I helped her out and um, she messaged me and said she hadn't forgotten. It had been months and here comes this shirt and I get the shirt in the mail and it says, she stenciled this and it's very sparkly. It says, say no to acceptance and say yes to equal love. And the idea is that acceptance of AIDS as a disease isn't enough. You have to love people for what they are and who they are, and I could not agree with that more. More in the mail, very exciting for Fandom and Stitches, especially if you're a Fandom and Stitches tab -a bomb designer, you wanna pay attention to this one. Just recently, I've been getting more signature blocks for our signature um, block uh, drive that we're doing for the tab -a bomb designers. Um, the idea is you send one, this happens to be Daz Muffins. You send one for each of the designers, so there are four per name. It's a super simple um, pattern so that it's not a big effort to make four. And I have lots of them here. You can see the pile is growing. And for um, every four, that's one a piece for each designer, like I said. And the idea is that at the end, we will each have a signature quilt from the people that participated in there and back again on Fandom and Stitches. I did the same thing on um, Harry Potter paper piecing when I did the Project of Doom and it was a really amazing experience. That quilt is actually the, the blocks are pieced and I'm still embroidering the uh, border which is taking me longer than I anticipated because I've had so many other things to do. But um, I did get that, you know, the, at least the tops together and hopefully by 2013 that will be a finished quilt, which is like a year after the Project of Doom, but you know, we won't talk about that. Speaking of the Project of Doom, I have created a Flickr group for completed Project of Doom quilt tops. So it can either be your quilt top or your completed quilt to quilt. Um, I would love to do a great big post on the Project of Doom. It's been almost a year since we finished, which is kind of amazing. Um, we finished up in, I think, August of last year. And um, I can't believe that it's been a year since we were doing Harry Potter paper piecing, since we were doing the Project of Doom and we're all working on our Harry Potter quilts. And I want to get that um, big post up pretty soon. I know several people have told me already that that's kind of inspired them to get working on theirs again. So if you're almost done with your Project of Doom, but not quite, try to get it finished up and get it in that Flickr group. And I will put a link in the description. I just, for no reason other than my own amusement, I want to do a big post and share what all the different Project of Doom um, quilts look like because I've seen a ton of pictures and they're all amazing. They're all different. The fabric choices are different. The way the book titles are done, if they're done at all, was different. Some people added embellishments. Some people added fancy uh, bookcase edges. Um, I know we have one dragon from, uh, from Woozlewom. We have all kinds of really great stuff that was personalized on the Project of Doom quilts and that is um, one of the reasons I love sharing. I love to see what you guys do with my ideas and how you make them personal and exciting for you. So Flickr group, the Project of Doom, um, you can search it on Flickr and I will put it in the description. I've made some progress on my Linus Afghan. Um, it's kind of at a standstill right now because I used all my white yarn. I have maybe eight inches of white yarn left, but I put one more stripe and that's all of this pink and brown yarn that I have. I just need to get enough white to add probably another 12 to 15 inches and then a border on this. So as soon as that's done, this will be ready to go to Linus. Because I ran out of white yarn, I started a blue um, sideways shell afghan, same pattern. I am totally out of scraps of yarn. All the balls of yarn are like this big, so I'm getting like a row, a row and a half, and then I'm changing colors, and I'm just gonna use all my blue and see how that turns out. Um, actually, that's downstairs, so I can't show it to you, but I'll try to show it next week, and hopefully it'll be a little bit bigger next week. I've also got a project going on where I, myself and some friends, are making some fleece blankets and some scarves and some other things to give 
to some of the resident patients at one of the VA hospitals, um, there are a lot of patients there that they don't get to leave, they don't get to go home, and then maybe they don't have family or other people to check in on them or, you know, give them a birthday present, a Christmas gift or whatever. And um, a mutual acquaintance of a friend of mine was saying, you know, her husband is there and she realized that there are like 40, 50 um, vets that are in this hospital that don't have anyone to um, bring them things and to you know give them a little comfort so it's sort of another side project and I have a I have a bunch of fleece that um, my mother-in-law gave me that I am working on uh, cutting up into um, blankets and I'm gonna serge those edges and I'll probably make some fleece scarves with some fringed edges and things like that so that's another project. Um, I don't have anything to show yet because I haven't actually finished any of that. It's on my mile and a half long to-do list. If you could see my sewing room right now, it's a bit messy. So last but not least, uh, Honey Bee Open House is Sunday, August the 19th from 1 to 5 p.m. If you're gonna be in the Austin area, come by and see me. I will be there. I have two classes there in the fall. I'm keeping my teaching schedule really light in the fall because I have a lot of other things going on. And I'm also looking for other opportunities, um, other paid opportunities, which I suppose you might say is a job. So um, I'm looking for other things to do that are paid as well, but I'm also keeping my teaching schedule really, really light. Um, I've got a lot going on with my family, with my kiddos. Um, my daughter's a senior this year. My son is in marching band. There is a lot, a lot, a lot of life happening. So. Um, I will keep you guys up to date. Um, as always, my professional schedule, all my classes are on Soho. So you just click on schedule and it'll say everything you need right there. Just all my classes are there. The Linus meeting dates are there. I'm always at Linus. Um, with the exception of probably September because I will be going to um, a, a, the 90th birthday party for my husband's grandmother. So um, other than that, I think that's it. And I am just rambly today. So it must have been that third cup of coffee. Um, I hope you guys have a fabulous week. I hope wherever you are, you are not overheating. And I will see you guys next week. It's a teeny, tiny, itty bitty teaser to what's coming in October.